Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, sorry I've been delayed again on the content upload, but I uh, wanted to do a little something today. Got something in the mail today, so I guess we'll be doing another unboxing. Um, I am, I've got an account on uh, Go Wild. If you don't know what it is, it's, a, it's, an, it's an app or social platform that uh, focuses around uh, more like outdoorsy stuff, hunting, fishing, camping, bushcraft, you name it it's it's all on there uh it's a pretty cool spot um to uh see what other people are doing um and uh you get you get to build points and after you get so many points you'll start getting discounted on certain items and certain name brands uh but anyways i've worked up to um some points where i was able to get something i want to say it's like 40% off so I was like man that's that's a heck of a deal so I jumped right on it uh, so we're gonna do this little unboxing um, and I haven't opened it yet I was pretty tempted to earlier when I first got home and got this in the mail but I decided to hold off and wait and try to do a little video on it that way you guys can can share the experience with me as I'm opening up and go from there but uh let me put the uh, chest mount on and We'll open this thing up and get after it. See you here in a minute. All right, well, we're back. We got the uh, GoPro on the chest mount and go ahead and open this thing up. I don't know what it is, but uh, been looking forward for it to coming in and giving it a go. I don't know if you can see that pattern or not. Maybe you might know what it is just by that. That's for the company anyways. Boom. Ladies and gents, this is the Badlands Bino C uh, Bino pouch. And this is in the uh, What a camo pattern it is. This is more like the springtime looking, early season uh, color. But there we go. There's all the harness for it. It's got some little safety pins, I guess, so you don't accidentally drop it. Ooh. Like this little pouch right here that it has come handy for I don't know just little things, uh, maybe some wind detecting stuff. Oh, that's nice. No zip, it's just a magnet. It's got some little molly on the sides. Uh, you know, I think I did a. I think I watched a video on this. And uh, I want to say this is where, I guess if you're like walking around with your bow, uh, you can take this and I guess put your D-loop on it or maybe just in, somewhere on your string and hang your bow from here while you're, uh, while you're glassing. And uh, yeah. So here's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the tags and stuff off. I'm going to go ahead and put the, put the harness on it. Um, and I am going to get my binoculars to kind of give you guys a, a size reference of what kind of binos you can uh, use with this setup. Uh, where you guys, if you guys want to get one of these, you kind of have a good idea of how big or how small uh, binoculars will, you know, fit inside this pretty well. But let me, uh, let me do that, and we'll get back on the on the rest of the video. All right, guys. Uh, we're back. We got it all assembled together with the uh, the harness. Um, I've already got my binos, and for, as far as size reference goes, uh, I run the uh, the Vortex Diamondback 10 by 42, um, and this looks like it's going to be like the perfect sized uh, bino pouch for for that. Um, and the color pattern, 
Um, I'm not really sure if you can see it that well. It's got you know, a little bit of green in there, along with the other uh, camo. Uh, the browns, the greens, uh, blacks, all that stuff. But this pattern is uh, the approach. They got two patterns. Uh, the approach, which is um, this with like a little bit more of the green in it for, for early season. And then there's the uh, the approach FX for uh, your later season and fall, stuff like that. But um, like I said, I'm running the uh, Diamondback uh, 10 by 42. I've already got it kind of assembled on there. I like how if I accidentally drop it, it kind of catches, but um, there we go. Uh, and I went ahead and got my bow out and uh, I'm, this is exa exactly what I thought it was. I, I thought I remembered that that's what this was, this little hook on the bottom. Um, but it is for your D-loop on your bow. If you're walking around with your bow, you want to do some glassing, you can uh, put, get your D-loop, set it on this hook, be hands-free. But let me go ahead and show you that. Just for demonstration. And this is fully rigged up how I would uh, if I was out in a hunt scenario. You know, I've got my quiver, arrows, and my uh, stabilizer on it. So, and this holds it just fine, just good enough where I can come out, get the binos out, you know, do a little bit of glassing, however I need to do, whatever I need to do. Um, Throw the binoculars away and don't have to worry about a zipper or not like that making any extra noise it's just a simple pull it's a magnet take this off the hook and keep going but uh yeah just want to do a quick video of that quick unboxing um you know if you're in the market to get a new bino harness and you don't know where to start i think I think this is a very good product. Um, feels like it's pretty good material. Um, I got a buddy my, of mine back home who I'm talking about is a Die Hard's Bottomlands fan. Um, loves their product. Has been trying to get me to get nothing but Badlands uh, stuff. And kind of do a little swap over and i've contemplated it i think i will and the biggest selling point uh for him was uh the customer service the customer service is absolutely great he loved the customer service the warranties awesome i think he had bought a pair of pants or a backpack or something and he emailed the company and uh there's some little little thing wrong with it or whatever and they wind up sending him something back like completely new and uh he's like wow like, i didn't i didn't expect that he said man ever since then that's that's all i'll buy that's that's the only company i'll you know i'll shop with but uh anyways the back of it um it's got this thin material not like thin like poorly made but thin and uh with a little bit of padding and it's very breezy it's got this mesh on both sides so it allows airflow um i didn't see this earlier but even the uh the harness itself has these little, little bands right here but anyways that is the uh the badlands um what is this badlands bino c binocular case in the approach pattern um not sponsored or anything with uh with badlands or go wild but i would highly recommend if you haven't already gotten yourself one of these and like i said if you're in the market i think i'm pretty sure you guys would be satisfied with this so anyways uh you know like comment share subscribe um one thing that i will be doing pretty soon um is I will be, well, I've actually got it loaded up in the back of the truck right now, ready to go. Just kind of cleaning some stuff up, trying to do a little video, but I have got the kayak loaded up. 
We're gonna do some fishing tomorrow. Uh, this is the native Slayer Max 12.5. Sorry, Slayer Max Pro. Um, we'll go ahead and load everything up. I've got everything loaded up for the most part. I've still got to load the poles up tomorrow. Drop the kids off at school and get on the water and uh, charge up the GoPro batteries and do try to do some video, man. Do uh, do a couple videos maybe. Um, try to catch a couple fish if if I'm that lucky or you know. But I think we're gonna enjoy the day uh, on a lake tomorrow. Anyways, uh, more to follow up. Uh, maybe we can get out there get some, get some fishing done and uh get some videos and some pictures to you guys but anyways uh to the next time hope you guys have a good one thank you for watching